Hey guys, in today's video we've got some new products to look at. Stay tuned. So guys, as you know, I make a lot of review videos about cars, but also I buy a lot of other stuff. So why don't share those with you? So the first thing I want to talk about are some accessories from Trasp. So currently I'm working on a Humphrey which I bought from them, which is just amazing, but it's not powerful enough for me and the appearance, I really don't like it. So I bought some accessories yeah, to make it even better, but that's for a different video and a bit boring to talk about now. So let's have a look at this car. This little car is the FMS FMT24 and this thing is just truly amazing. So this is like a full scale Besser but only shrunken into a 124 scale size and this thing just totally surprised me. I posted a review video about this car like a couple of days ago I will put the link down below because you have to see this video So this car has got a two speed gearbox We've got ball bearings inside there We've got metal drive lines And even oil shocks in this little car This thing is just amazing So I will put the link down below And go watch that video after this one Because now we are going to have a look at these accessories Another thing that I bought is this aluminium thing. So it's all made of aluminium, you've got a lot of holes, but what is this? Well this is like a stand for your screwdrivers and you can use this as a solder stand. So you will find a lot of different holes as you can see and you can put in a bullet connector for example inside one of those holes and then you can solder them on. So that can be very useful. So for example this is like a T-connector and you've got a T-plug holder right over there so okay, you can put it in there and then you can make the soldering and yeah maybe that's pretty really useful. So I, yeah, I'm not sure about it So I paid around 10 bucks or something for this So yeah, we have to find out if this is useful or not So let me try some screwdrivers And here it is guys, what do you think of it? Well, until now this thing is pretty useful. So almost all of my tools which were laying around in this little box are now inside this tent. And you can easily see the sizes. So for example, if you need the 2.0, you can instantly grab that. And I really like that. So all the holes are pretty useful, except for these bigger ones, you know. And yeah, when I put something in there, it's not like fitting properly. But all the other ones are just fine in my opinion. So in the little trays here in the front, I put uh, the rechargeable batteries. I've got my soldering tool my soldering iron even fits in one of those holes and I just glued this little piece with the drill bits on the side over there so overall this thing for 10 bucks I think it's worth the money so let's have a close look at that box so guys, finally I bought myself an electric screwdriver. Of course you can use a big drill like this one, but if you're playing around with very tiny screws, then yeah, they can easily strip and you don't want to have that. So I bought myself this one from Team Corelli. And yeah, well, I don't know much about it, so let me get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find a very nice pouch, we've got the drill itself, and some instructions and the USB-C cable. So this device runs on a 3.7 lithium ion battery and it can be charged via this little charging port. And we've got a couple of buttons right over there. So this is for yeah, putting the screws in and this is for yeah, removing those again. And this is the torque setting. So currently it's in low torque, this is the middle torque and that's high torque. And yeah, that's all the buttons they are on this little thing. So yeah, the build quality he feels very sturdy and well we've got some LED sitting right over there and this is just your normal bit adapter and that's always a good thing so no strain sizes for example because yeah sometimes you have some things that uh, yeah with a strain size but this is just a normal one and that's all okay so yeah let's test this one on a car this is the Synchro 4 which I recently reviewed and this thing is truly amazing and I am just totally in love with this car. This thing is so fast and so durable and I totally didn't expect it to be, but yeah, this thing is just great. But let's remove some screws, let's uh, yeah, do some on the bottom right over there. So this is like the 2.5 I think it is. So let's get this one and yes, that's a 2.5 and let's see how this thing works. So yeah, let's remove one and see what happens. Oh. You have to hold it, of course. Where's the button? Here's the button. So, here we go. Removing the first screw. Oh, it stops automatically. And that's because it's in the low torque. So, let's put it into the high torque. And let's see what happens. So, here it goes. 
And all secured again. Well, this looks pretty promising. So let's try another one. So let's try one over here, for example. And let's... Yeah. Well, I think that this thing is very useful and I am glad that I bought one of these. Because, you know, everything doing by hand can, yeah, be, uh, yeah, will take a long time. So, yeah, I really like this thing. Alright guys, for this video, that was it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.